sounded off the bat like it was gone right away. Did you know that was gone as soon as you connected with it? Or? You know, I had a feeling after I, I got it. Um, I got enough barrel on it. But wasn't sure with the weather today, so I had to make sure I uh, ran hard a little bit down the line. You know, it's been said that home runs are mistakes thrown by pitchers, but boy, if you, even you have to be, you know, impressed by uh, the two titanic swings you've had in the zone stand. You know, just trying to put good swing on the good pitches. I um, feel like I've been staying in my zone pretty good, um, but just been grinding out in the cages and stuff, trying to get my swing locked in. So I'm um, doing a good job of that with the hitting coach that we have available. That kind of power and your versatility in the field, I mean, this must do wonders for your confidence. You know, it's definitely a, a battle. Like the veterans that we have in the clubhouse definitely help with that, preparing me mentally and physically. Um, so trying to utilize everything that I can. When you guys put a four spot out there and then you see your pitcher go and boom, 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 a couple quick innings, how nice is that? I think that's what kind of started is, you know, you have a pitcher that's pounding the zone, not walking guys and get a lot of ground balls. I think that really just builds the team confidence up and you really gets you excited to get up to bat. When you fouled it off, was that your foot that you fouled it off of? Yeah, it kind of went right in between the Evo shield. The Evo shield is a gap between the foot guard and the shin guard, and I just managed to <laughs> go right in between that slot, so that was fun. Did that affect you at all, like when you got back out on the field, or were you all right? No, uh, that was totally fine. I didn't have an issue with that. How was it playing first base as your first game out there, right? Yeah, I played first base my entire life, so yeah, you know, maybe okay. my first major league yeah, first major base league. game, but no, it's a, a familiar position to me, so not any different. Like riding the bike or something exactly. like that? Yeah. How do you feel about your role this season? You, know, you came up last year and you showed you, you hit 13 home runs. You already got two this season. Do you feel like you're going to be a pretty peak, a key contributor as far as driving guys in? And you know, I would like to be. Um, this team's a lot of fun. There's a lot of quality players in this clubhouse. So um, the amount of contributions that we're going to have up and down our lineup is just endless. So it's nice to be able to know that you know the guy in front is going to get done. The guy behind you is also going to get it done. So you don't have to be the guy. You feel pretty good as well about uh, getting a split of the series. Yes. Um, you know, I think we played really good baseball. I think splitting. Um, was a big confidence booster for us, and I think that we feel like we should have had more just with the way we're playing the game and the bats we're having. So I think there's some things we got to iron out as a team and, uh, you know, continue on the up and up trajectory. How does this translate for the road as you uh, kind of, I guess, hit the reset button for, for the road trip in Texas? You know, we always like to win on, uh, on travel days just because a happy flight makes for a happy squad. So, um, you know, definitely a positive feeling leaving this clubhouse and excited to get our first road trip underway. Now your first baseman, you can take on that mayor role of, you know, greeting the opposing, opposing players when they get to first base. No. Oh, uh, I'm a young guy still, so I like to, you know, say to myself, and if Mike Trout says hello to me, I nod my head and I say, hi, how are you, sir? So go from there. <laughs>